February 24th, just after 11 at night, a state police officer stumbles onto this, a crumpled up car on the side of I-25 near the Santa Felipe Pueblo exit. Inside are three women. Police say Elizabeth Rotter and Kim Butcher were badly hurt. Karina Vaden was killed. Vaden's sister tells me the three friends were driving from Denver to Arizona to compete in a race. They spoke with each other the day before. And I begged her. I said, come on, Karina, it's a long drive. Just look for a plane ticket. She's like, no, we're going to have a good fun trip. It's going to be a girl's trip. Police say this man, 18-year-old Luke Griffin, caused the wreck. Watch as an officer gives Griffin a field sobriety test. Follow it with your eyes and your eyes only, okay? Don't move your head. You understand? So easy? Okay. Ready? Police say Griffin's blood alcohol level was a point two two, close to three times the legal limit. Okay, bye. Uh, well, that was Vaden's daughter, Kimberly. She's the youngest of three kids, and she told me she has a message for Griffin. I hope he knows what he did. I hope he sees that, you know, he just tore apart a whole family. I work with her every day, so I miss a lot about her, you know. Investigators say Griffin was giggling after the crash and even tried to hug one of the officers. He's now charged with vehicular homicide and has already posted bond. Megan Cruz, KOAT Action 7 News.